From my perspective, I'm not really sure why anyone would struggle to eat healthy during any holidays because what can be more celebratory than actually being active, energetic, enjoying every day in this healthy body, being beautiful and radiant, and at the same time pleasing your body and taste buds with all those beautiful flavors of natural foods, with all that abundance, without actually harming anyone. However, I acknowledge that there is a trend when people, let's say, start doing the good thing, they keep doing it for months, they feel excellent, they rejuvenate, they reach some optimal health, and then as soon as the holidays kick in, they actually slip and the worst thing that happens is that after the holidays, after they binge consume all of those bad foods from their past that led them to developing conditions that they were healing from, the worst thing that happens is that they actually cannot go back to the healthful habits. So let's figure this issue out. Let's go through some hidden reasons for why you may choose to slip. And as soon as we bring up those unconscious impulses that drive your decisions to slip during the holidays, this is when you will be able to control them, not they will be controlling your behavior. And at the same time, you may choose to actually get rid of those impulses that are antagonist to your healthful attitude. As a bonus, I also will put a couple of recipe ideas that will be suitable for holidays, and you will find them in the description and in the first pinned comment. And here, please subscribe and hit the like button. And so the first aspect that I would like to talk about is, are you looking for a reason to finally stop disciplining yourself into being healthful? And you kind of use holiday season as a reason to stop disciplining yourself. The question has a catch. In fact, why being healthy, why choosing healthful habits is a discipline for you? Do you not like to feel good? Do you feel like you're not receiving the rewards and bonuses that your healthful habits give to you? Do you not feel like your effort and result are equivalent to each other? Perhaps you do not know what to do with all that free time, with all that free energy. Do you have nothing exciting in your life to use that released free energy and time for? Has your lack of health become your family member? What role functionally does lack of health play in your life, in your relationships, and in your path in life? Has your lack of health become a reason for not jumping onto a new level of responsibility in life? Or has it become a shield from choosing to live your life? Answer these questions, honestly. Number two, can you be low-key deficient in something? Because when we have certain mineral deficiencies, for instance, we can develop unreasonable fake cravings. And holiday season becomes too opportune to not actually take advantage of that and to not start eating something that is that belongs to those fake cravings. Is your healthy diet actually nutritionally complete and sustainable? Figure this out. Because in my experience, when you are on a diet that supplies you all essential vitamins, essential amino acids, enough calories, enough fat, and all minerals, the cravings are irrelevant or non-existent. Aspect number three, do you have a tendency to developing eating disorders and a habit of making yourself guilty for pleasures? This simply may be a dysfunctional relationship with food and holidays may trigger your um, desire to drown in that delightful guilt to replay the pattern and punish yourself over and over again for indulging in something and then feeling bad about it. Your relationships with food must be pretty flat. The food must be pleasurable in the process. You must enjoy it so much. And then the food must love you back. This is what we call functional relationships. 
you appreciate something in the process and you appreciate the results from the activity. I like to call it constructive or productive hedonism. And number four, point number four is pretty trivial, I would say. Do you have any attachments to the imagery of the holiday season being associated with gluttony and intoxication? Or perhaps there are certain flavors that trigger your memories, trigger your senses to feel celebratory. For this one, did you know that you can have so many fabulous celebratory dishes that are a little bit extra, even within the raw food protocol? You can in particular create beautifully served mocktails that will actually bite you just like alcohol does. You can make a ton of added sugar-free desserts beautiful savory dishes and of course you at this point you can take advantage of the good old dehydrator such that all of those dishes will actually carry all this beautiful nutrition in surplus leaving you feeling so amazing light and invigorated another thing is that you can beautifully dress your table you can put all of those beautiful fresh fruits flowers delicious desserts bright salads on the table dress yourself up play music to set the mood and you will have a celebratory table without any compromise point number five is another psychological trickery do you actually deep inside believe that Holiday, celebration, magic must be created for you. Do you think that they are made for you by someone, by some marketing media, by some stores, by some uh, people? Why not overtake the lead of the holiday organization and become the one who actually creates all this celebratory magic? who sets the mood, who organizes the event, who brings the vision, who gives to others, and who creates the tradition that will run in your family. In fact, you are not a child anymore to expect to wait for magic to be or to be predefined for you by media or marketing. You can even be an ambassador of your lifestyle by making your specialties and sharing them with others with a beautiful and themed presentation that will make everyone inspired and delighted at the same time respecting the choices and preferences of the others and offering them things that you think they may might enjoy if you are the one hosting the event and if you visit someone for celebration then it is up to you to bring certain foods that you know you will enjoy and perhaps bring them in surplus to share them with others and at the same time showing up with a fruit basket as a as a gift to to the hosts will be a very non-obliging celebratory gesture of appreciation that will reinstate your values in a beautiful giver way then in summary when um, you know why you need to be healthy that you need to be healthy you have no impulses to choose not to be so regardless of the external circumstances you simply feel that you cannot afford that and on the po and if you formulate it positively that you must be healthy you simply cannot afford the mere idea of giving up your health because you know what it serves you for so my holiday wish for you is to find something so profoundly true to your nature a real passion or multiple passions in life that they will drive your liveliness and love and respect for life that will actually lead you to making decisions favoring health and well-being because when you know what to live for you will always choose life thank you for watching please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit like leave your comments below thank you